like this, you see. Now, where is she gone? Where is her, um... Oh, you're there! <laughs> I wanted to make sure. Don't lose that one. This one. Wave and press and give it the best. Okay, right. Take two. It was like this, you see, but a cold and frosty morning. And I was out there snagging the turnips with me little sockings in my hand. No brogans on me feet. And after a while here snagging these here trolls, I got mighty fed up doing this here carrying on. Came on down to the house and lift with a latch. Silently like. You know, don't you know? Well, I went anyway, and the father was sitting by the fire. He the two jeans in his cob and he drink the great big mug of tea. And the hand in his socks are up on the hob. He looked at me and I looked at him. The house got rather small. Then the mother poured out some tea, curtain cake, she gave him the curtain cake and I got the brown bread. So we had a look around again and the house got smaller. Then I climbed the stairs and wasn't the stairs, it was a stick. With sticks sticking out each side of it. Up I went anyway and then he went to the loft. Said goodbye to the rat, the cat, the mouse and the frog. And the pig. But I do squeeze the latch. And I came down the stairs half a lazy in the morning, just before the sun peeped over the hill. And if the latch was slipped out, you could feel the east house. They knew I was going. You know, don't you know? In the merry month of May, my home was hard to love the girls of June, sad and sad and broken hearted. Salute the father dear, kiss me dad and mother, I like the fight of fear, up me green and dear little mother. I love to read the corn, to live where I was born, I go to Derby Town on the bandit pole in Dublin, the brand new pair of rogues I hear, the love of the birds, the fight of the dog. One, two, five. Well, I come down to bar and I come into Carla, and I got into Spiddin. I survived there for a little small while in. Then I got down to Galway with two men for me. I couldn't handle the traffic, you know. Don't you know? I went to Carlo anyway, and I got more. I got a job in the sheep being taken up the back. They were handy first pay for the first stuff. I was high for a month and sick for a year. But I got out of there as well. Kept on down the road past that and Roy kept on going into Ballinasloe. And Ballinasloe made a stop mistake and I ended up in Tarnum Barry. There I crossed the channel. Then I saw the lights, the big city, Mullingar out in front of me. 20,000 candles of what power. But then I went and I got a job at a butcher, slipping and sliding all over the hooves to catch the feet and the ears. So, you know, you know, don't you know? The Mullingar tonight, I rested them so weary, I started the day and I laid up me tall and hard and dreary. I took the top of the door, up the kick, me heart was sinking, and that's the party cure, up when every time I lay. I see the laddie smile, laughing all the while, at the Gallagher Sabbath, they set your heart up all the time. And that's the vibe. The so I kept on going against the poor way, which is Enfield. There I got a job in any way. There were me seven sets. Still no brogans on me feeding. Then I saw Kilcock. I was able to make a move for that. Then I saw the lights set in front of me. A hundred thousand cattle of one power. Right out there leading me on. Up the oh, yeah, oh, 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 o
the bright light on the sun of the The bees are soon the bright on the view of the city. And then I took a stall all among the quality. We bundled it for stall in the near the galaxy. Something got me mine, oh, when I look behind, I wonder how to find the fun we see go up with it. Searching up the rope, oh, I'm the 